Last week, we analyzed a variation in the Dutch defense, which gave White a small advantage related to his development superiority. We got to see how White, by using a calm and solid system, managed to exploit the weakness created in the black position by the first move f5. The advantage attained is fleeting and it might be hard to use, making people unwilling to use the variation since they are in search for a more aggressive continuation. But Alfred, is there any aggressive continuation here at all? Well, more or less. It's namely so that after the introducing moves d4 and d5, white plays the quite odd g4, leading us into a gambit of sorts. Black's answer, f takes g4, is the most popular option, but an alternative is to play d5 here, denying the gambit. But we'll come to that eventually. After a capture on g4, white continues with the giving away of pawns by playing h3. Normally, black would continue from here by playing a move such as d5, but just to show how dangerous it is to play f5 as your first move, We'll take a quick look at a loot trap hiding be be behind seemingly innocent moves. So let's take a look at what happens after Black's knight to f6. White is here take the pawn on g4 and Black takes the pawn, the pawn back with the knight and this is followed by White's queen to d3, threatening the black pawn on h7 in turn. Black does of course not want to lose the pawn and plays a natural retreat with the knight by placing it on f6, protecting the h7 pawn. But what black did not count with is that white here is still Ill able to take the pawn, because if black recaptures with the rook, white plays queen to g6, checkmate. Of course this is not a forced variation and black can avoid it without any trouble at all, but if you play the Dutch defense, you'll have to be aware of any threat against the king because otherwise a checkmate might come out of the blue, just as it did in this variation. Let us go back to Black's second move, and instead of capturing on g4, we'll take a look at what happens after d5. The plan is simply to develop while White loses time on playing short-sighted moves, which in no way whatsoever helps with the development of the white pieces. White can here play quite a lot of different moves, but let's assume that white takes on f5, allowing black to develop simultaneously as reca recapturing the pawn on f5. And now after knight to f3, knight to f6, c3, e6, rook to g1, g6, bishop to f4, and bishop to d6, we see that black has come a lot farther in the development than white. But that black in turn has a weak e pawn and a somewhat strange pawn structure. What happens next is that white now captures on d6, which is followed by black recapturing with the queen, where after knight b to d2, knight b to d7, queen to b3, and castle queenside is played. This position is full of potential for both sides, but black has a slight advantage in the fact that he's better developed, which allows him to prepare for an attack with the pawns with a move as e5. Well, what this shows is that the Dutch defense is a solid opening as long as white tries to crush the black position by aggressive moves such as g4. The best way to handle this opening is simply to return with calm and strategic moves. With that, we end this week's episode of The Opening School. We will be back again next week with a new opening, so see you then.